Why? <laughs> Nothing. I, I was just looking for something to read. I happened to come across this discount catalog. Very interesting. Well, it's not exactly War on Peace, but it has its point. I see you underline this, this triple photogenic self-loading camera, $79.95. Are you getting it? Oh, absolutely. Of course, it'll have to wait in line behind the three new tires and the new upstairs sink and the final payment on the carpeting in your room, but I'll get it. Someday. Someday is gonna be sooner than he thinks. The fact that I only have three dollars to my name doesn't bug me a bit. After all, I only need 77 more to buy him that camera for his birthday. And I have a whole week to get it in. <laughs> If you're in doubt about angels being real I can arrange to change any doubts you feel Wait till you see my gadget You want her for your valentine You're gonna say she's all that you adore But stay away, gadget has spoken for you Here it is. Blinning's department store has a great big help wanted ad. Yeah, but you're not an experienced sales lady. Oh, well, I see what you're looking at. They also need billing and coding machine operators. That's your field, right? <laughs> oh. Well, there's always your fantastic knowledge of electric comptometers with auxiliary multiplication attachments. As your best friend, LaRue, I feel I ought to tell you no one likes a smart mouth. <laughs> However, all is not lost. You can finally utilize your training as a repro very typist, providing, of course, you remember how to work with multilith masters and photo reproducible copies. But, Ru, not there, over here. Demonstrator trainees needed, various departments, part time work, no experience needed. So that means they're hiring kids. But are they paying in American dollars? Well, they must pay more than babysitting. Hey. I can start work day after tomorrow, because that's Saturday, and Daddy will think I'm going to the beach. Well, wouldn't it be easier if you just told him? Of course not. The surprise part of the present is that his little girl paid for it by going out and earning it on her own. This may come as a surprise, but Glenning's department store did not look upon me as the bright new hope of retail merchandise. <laughs> and a few more fast days on the job hunt trail prove one thing sure. It's a long, rocky road. Face it, Gidge, your world doesn't want a kid to make a bust. <laughs> I went to the whole sunny paper this morning. Experienced, experienced, experienced. How am I supposed to get experienced if no one will hire me? Hey, you're really steam. You bet I am. Okay, nobody will give me a job. I'll make my own job. Our country was built on free enterprise, right? Well, the history books are filled with people who went out and found a way to build a better mousetrap and made their fortunes. Well, move over, world. Gidget is in business. <laughs> Young lady, clean your board? No. Okay. And here comes two handsome young gents who desperately look like they need their boards clean. <laughs> Same to you, fella. Don't look now, Gitch, but your mouse trap isn't working. Maybe I'm not using the right bait. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Has anyone ever told you you have something absolutely unforgettable? No, what? The cruddiest board on the beach. Now, a small 75 cents, I can strip it, re wax no, it, thanks, and... No thanks, sweetie. Uh, my kid brother does it for a quarter. <laughs> Man, what a burn. You want to shine this up for me, honey? Sure. Yeah. You really think you're going to order it? I sure am. I'm going to order it in bright red with, with wire chrome wheels and automatic windows and the whole scene. Wow, and all this from a part-time job? It is so out of sight, honey, I can't believe it myself. Last night I made $25 in tips, 
and all you have to do is be young and have a good figure. That's true. Where? Where? I want in. Do they need any more girls? Oh, sure. They're interviewing tomorrow. The address is 6048 Sunset Boulevard. Just ask for Miss Conway. And bring a bathing suit or a leotard. Check. Uh, uh, check. Check. Board call checked out. We're done. Here it is. Uh, no. There you go, honey. Keep the change. <laughs> there you go, honey. Keep the change. <laughs> Larue, does she have anything that I haven't got? <laughs> I won't have pretty soon. <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, that sounds fine. I'm sure you'll make an excellent kitty. Now, will you fill out the application, please? Read the rules and regulations for kitty, then change into your bathing suit and come back here. Next. Did you ever have the feeling that you were a scroungy little anchovy in a can of great big beautiful sardines? <laughs> How do I get out of here without looking conspicuous? Next. Well, fake it, Gidget. Fill out the application, please. Read the rules and regulations for Kitty. You change into your bathing suit and... <laughs> How old are you, dear? Twenty-one. I beg your pardon. Almost twenty. <laughs> You go for 19? <laughs> Birth date? May 7th, 19... <laughs> what you... oh, We'll leave that for a while. And now, uh, what about your experience? Oh, I've had plenty of that. <laughs> but I try not to let it show. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm in the wrong place. I'm sorry to take up your time. Listen, dear. Try its kicks. Three doors down the street. It's brand new and they're hiring now. Teenagers only. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Now, why do I feel so relieved? I've just been put down. Come to think of it, they never even asked me to put on my bathing suit. <laughs> what a break. <laughs> Delicious pie, Aunt. Thanks, Dad. More coffee? Yes, Bob. Thank you. Say, where's Gidget? Upstairs, getting ready to go out. Again? Well, she has a big babysitting clientele. Hi, family. Bye, family. Hey. <laughs> You're going babysitting? Yeah, at the Wallaces. All gussied up like that? Well, uh, they're a very formal family. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh -huh. I smell a rat. I smell a boy. Babysitting without a baby, the oldest excuse in teen. Now hold it, you two. If she says she's going babysitting at the Wallaces, she's going babysitting at the Wallaces. It's gas. All I have to do is, is wear this absolutely switched on costume and serve soft drinks to the kids and stuff. It's a gas. Then how come you're so miserable? Guilty is the word. It's very weird to look in your dad's honest old eyes and tell him you're going babysitting at the Wallaces when you're not. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Very good. You want to write that down. Keep it in your wallet. <laughs> anyway, what about the camera? You still won't have enough money in time. Yeah, but with the job as a reference, I can make a down payment and then pay the rest later. Oh, don't worry about it. I've got the details all squared away. Take my word for it. Dad's going to be very proud of me when he finds out the truth. Yeah, if anyone remembers what it is by that time. <laughs> Double scoop sundaes, peach, vanilla, and tutti frutti, right? Uh, orange, coconut, chocolate, almond, right? Uh, raspberry sherbet and pineapple pecan, right? Oh, wait, is that tutti frutti and chocolate almond with peach, vanilla, and orange coconut? It's hard hey, to make it again, out. kid. Well, I thought I got it straight this time. I told them not to have so many flavors. Gets you in trouble every time. Oh, well, I'll go back and check on it. Do that, kid. <laughs> I do wish you'd listen to us. There is definitely something funny going on around here. Could have fooled me. I haven't had a laugh all evening. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Miss Wallace. Gidget? Well, isn't she? Uh-huh. No, well, uh, no, she won't be able to sit for you tonight. She's out for the evening somewhere. <laughs> Yes, I'll tell you call. Thank you. Uh, 
All right. All right, so she's not where she said she'd be. I suppose there's a reasonable explanation. Look, don't you two have some sleeping to do or something? Okay. We're going home. I mean, after all, this is your department. I'm glad you finally realized that. Don't let your feelings get out of hand, Dad. And try not to be too upset about it. My feelings are well in hand, and I am not upset. There's nothing to look so tragic about. Something has happened that I suppose happens sooner or later in any family. My daughter has lied to me. What's the matter? I beg your pardon? Are you staring at me? Was I? I wasn't aware of it. Is something wrong, Dad? I don't know, is it? Not as far as I'm concerned. Everything's cool. Good, good. How's the babysitting coming along? Oh, I... I won't be able to do much of that anymore. Uh, too much homework. I see. I'll have to be going to the library a lot at night. Gidget. You and I have always been pretty honest with each other, haven't we? Uh-huh. Whenever we had anything to say, we said it, right? Right. Okay, Dad, say what you want to say. I don't want to say anything. I was hoping perhaps you might. Oops, there's my ride. Gidget, isn't there anything you want to tell me? Uh, gotta run, Dad. Bye. Check. Hmm? I just took your queen. Oh. Well, that's the way it goes. You're not paying attention to the game, Russ. Something bothering you? No, no. Not at all. Well, something's bothering me. Wait until you see what I found. What you found where? Isn't that Gidget's carry-all? It certainly is. Does that poor child have to put a lock on her door to get some privacy around here? Dad, this is the third night in a row that Gidget has waltzed out of here all gussied up. It wasn't very long ago that you snooped in her diary and wound up with a very red face, remember? Well, if my face turns red this time, just chalk it up to family humiliation. My little sister has herself a job. That's what I've been thinking. So what's the big disaster? Well, she had to wear this to get it. She's a lifeguard at night. Work application and rules and regulations for a kitty. What's a kitty? Oh, come on, Dad. You're putting me on. Gidget is working at the Tomcat Club. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be. She's only 15 and a half years old. Lolita was only 12. Well, that's what you've been slipping inside those big textbooks of yours. Huh? Daddy, this is no time for small talk. Gidget is being exposed to heaven knows what at a wild key club. Come on now, Anne. We don't know she's really there. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Anyway, what's so wild about it? The girls, man. They're gorgeous. And they wear these costumes that I cut down to about here. How do you know? Well, Anne, before we were married, I... We've been married three years. And the place has only been open two, John. I was only kidding. I've never been near the place. Then how come you're such an expert on the girls, darling? Well, they're in magazines, dear. You read those magazines? Oh, come on, man. You sit in the barbershop and they're right there. What are you going to do? The center... Russ, where are you going? I am going to the Tomcat Club to take a look and make sure she's not there. Well, smart move. What are you going to do if she is? Well, I'll calmly bring her home. And I will calmly spank her. Then I'll calmly phone the police department and have that joint that hires minors closed down. I'll go with you. Not without me, you won't. <laughs> Wait here. This shouldn't take long. And why can't I go in with him? He said to wait here, dear. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have 
anything you'd like to check, sir? No. Hey, maybe you can help me. Is there a new girl working here? She's about so tall, very young, brown hair, name of Lawrence. You got me. Oh. Thanks, Emily. against kitty rules and regulations for us to date the customers, ever. Oh, I, I'm sorry. See, I thought you were my daughter from the back. Sure. <laughs> Do you have change for a five? One. Two, three, four, five. Thank you, sir. Your key, sir. My key? No, we don't accept five to cover. Just Tomcats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I beg your pardon. <laughs> No wonder. Same chick as last night. Well, hang in there, kids. I'll give it another try. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hey, What the heck are you doing? I've asked myself the same question. Answer is, I'm working here. Oh! <laughs> Here. <laughs> All right, John, let's go. Gidget's not in there. Did you get inside? Not exactly, but somehow I managed to spend a small fortune anyway, getting my pipe lit. But did you find out anything? I talked to everyone from the hat check girl to the Metro D, and they all assure me that there are no underage girls working there. Daddy, what did you expect the Mater D to say? For all he knows, you could be from the vice squad or something. I happen to believe the man, okay? Now let's go home. I certainly admire your attitude, Russ. Cool and objective. How else should a reasonable man behave? my daughter was working in that place, I'd go in and tear it apart. Well, your daughter is not working in that place, and neither is mine. You don't know that. I am not going to sit here and stake out my daughter. Now, let's go. Okay, but don't say it. I won't. Well, feel a little foolish? Feel a little sick. Come on, Daddy. Let's pick her up before somebody we know sees her. Not on your life. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a relationship that's built on mutual trust and respect. I have violated both of them. If you don't mind, I'd rather she didn't know. Come on, let's go. <laughs> How 
How can you not believe what is in front of your nose? Because she was outside the club, not in it. Relax, Russ. Projecting your paternal anxieties will just trigger her defenses. I wish you'd married a plumber. <laughs> Look, here's the point. Gidget must be approached non-directively, which happens to be my specialty. Right, let me handle it, okay? Hi. What are you guys doing up so late? Oh, just thought we'd stick around and say hi. What's happening? <laughs> Same old thing. How's school? Still there. Doing much surfing lately? You guys waited up till 12.30 to ask me if I've done much surfing lately. No. We we're just wondering where you've been from 7.30 until midnight this evening. Oh, great. That's some non-directive approach. <laughs> okay, gang. What's going on? Are you familiar with the 6,000 block of Sunset Boulevard? Yes. How did you know? Have you ever sought employment in that area? I guess you know I did. What'd you do? Follow me? Is it not true that you told your father that you were going to the library? When, in fact, you were actually going to work at a club at that address? Ah! From Sigmund Freud to Clarence Darrow in one easy lesson. <laughs> Dad, you didn't have to follow me. I was going to tell you all about it in the morning. I don't keep secrets from you. You've been doing a pretty good job. But it was a surprise. I'll say. Did you? <laughs> How could you? I needed the money. Gidget, we are going to discuss this. But first, I want you to go upstairs, take off that disgraceful outfit, and burn it. Return it or bury it. Has everybody flipped out? What disgraceful outfit? This is what all the girls at the club wear. <laughs> club, Gidget. It's Kix, the new teenage nightclub I thought you knew. You've been working at a teenage club? Well, we thought... But you had the application from the Tomcat Club. Oh, that place. I just walked in and dug I was years away from that action. They thought so, too. <laughs> How did you know about the application? Uh, well, that's beside the point. Anyway, why is money suddenly so important that you lie and sneak around to get it? Ha! Huh? Miss Anteater knows of the year is talking to me about sneaking. Touché. Nevertheless, Gidget, we'd still like to know what it's all about. Well, I, I wanted to wait till tomorrow, but I guess it's tomorrow now. It's about the greatest dad any girl ever had. Happy birthday. My birthday? I'd completely forgotten. Me too. I wanted to earn enough money to buy you that camera, but I blew it. This is the best I could do. It's the most expensive pipe lighter they had. I hope it's okay. Oh, Sparkin, you'll never know how okay. You still awake? Mm-hmm. I was just sitting here thinking. You know, I really don't blame you for following me. Considering how it looked, I guess I would have done the same. You know something, though? Down deep in my heart, I never really believed you were working in that place. That's because we know each other so well. Yeah. Forgot to put fluid in that. Those matches. They're from the Tomcat Club. Well, I... You actually went into that place looking for me. Well, yes, I... Never believed I was there, huh? Well, I had to be... <laughs> sure. Suppose someone had seen you. Do you really think the Tomcat Club is an appropriate place for a distinguished English professor to be found? You are beginning to talk like your sister. We'll discuss this in the morning. The truth is, I'm really surprised at you. At breakfast. Oh, you're supposed to be the one to set an example. I'll set one right now by going to bed. Good night. <laughs> that should keep him in line for a while. You have to know how to handle parents. It's a real art. Yeah. Nice. <laughs>